Superman and Lois Season 1 Episode 13 Failsafe gets into some interesting stuff and here are my quick thoughts on that. Spoilers ahead. You should be a god. But you became a slave to them. Don't you ever wonder who you might have been if you hadn't landed here? I knew there was a reason very early on in Season 1 that we were seeing Superman in such control. Here he is getting angry, but he brings his temper back in check. He talks about how he earns the respect and the trust of the world and he makes that choice every day and it's put to the test. In the last episode, Superman was possessed by Zod and when he was possessed by Zod, he felt what Zod felt when he let go of all control. It felt really, really good. That feeling worries me. If there is even the slightest chance that I could be manipulated again with that desire to let go. So now we have this temptation scene where Morgan Edge is talking to Superman about how he knows exactly how he feels. You fight against your real nature every day. You don't know me. Now we all have that sin nature that we wrestle with. Just look at Romans chapter 7, a chapter where Paul writes out about his struggle with that sin nature. As long as we are on this side of heaven and in this body, we do have that sin nature that we war against. It's all about control. But didn't it feel good to lose it just once? Now, what makes this so, I think, incredibly relatable and down to earth for a show about Kryptonians and watching two Kryptonians talk is it's something that we all understand so well. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience, and God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. Now, when it comes to Superman, what's his way out? His failsafe? The world needs a way to stop me. You want me? and only me to have the capability to kill you. So Superman's way of escape, he took his greatest weakness, his greatest vulnerabilities, all that kryptonite in Project 7734, and he gave that to John Henry Irons. So should Superman be manipulated, should he fall, the Earth has a fighting chance because no matter how good it felt to let go, he knew what that fleeting indulgence led to. And that's the way sin works. You see, with Superman, yes, it felt good when he was possessed by Sod and he got to let go of control, but its ends are destructive and it will cost him everything. That's what sin does. It comes as that angel of light. It feels good, it looks good, but its ends are destructive and it will take, it will cost everything. Jesus paid the full price for us. He says he wants our hearts solely entrusted to him. So when we give him the good, the bad, and the ugly, when we give him our whole heart, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says we become a new creation. We get a new nature. Throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. And look, I'll follow our Jesus, and I still give in to temptation. I still stumble and fall. And what I've found in Jesus, there is no condemnation. There is forgiveness, and there is strength. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is perfected in weakness. So he gives us his strength to keep going forward. And as we are led by him, he leads us to life and peace. Are you excited for what remains of season one of Superman and Lois? We got Morgan Edge becoming the Eradicator. All those voices in his head? I'm pretty sure those were all the voices of the Kryptonian souls that were in the Eradicator. And now he's by the sun charging up with all that power? What the blue monkey is going on here? I'm excited to see how they bring this season to a close. Are you? Let's talk about that in the comments. While you're there, hit that subscribe button so you're notified for my next quick thoughts, movie review, ranking video, theological analysis, or anything else I do here. I'm Durbin. Thanks for checking out Durbanian.